Hey folks, Ola here, coming at you from Native Watercraft Factory. Gonna do a little tour this morning before I pick up my kayak here in Fletcher, North Carolina. It's kind of, we're out in the mountains, kind of in the boonies, but uh, stick around and let's take a look inside. Hey Dave. So right here it is, look. Yeah, in person. Good thing both of your boats, I think, are ready. I'm so. very grateful that they are, because there's a storm coming. <laughs> there's the Max, folks. Thank you, Native. Thank you, Lucas. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Justin. We're on our way back to Florida. Thank you, Native. Hey, folks. Ola here, coming at you from the garage. I am back from my whirlwind trip. As you know, I had to make a trip home to Illinois. My mother passed away, went up to help my family take care of things. So I'm back home now and on the way home, thank you to Native Watercraft. They were able to scramble and have both of my kayaks ready a little bit early for me. Just made a deviation to North Carolina from Illinois. It was really just an hour out of my way and picked these beauties up. So I'm sure some of you already know what they are if you've been following me on my channel. So, and no, I'm not copying off of Greg, <laughs> though it might look like it, Greg Blanchard. But uh, yeah, I got the new boats. So we're gonna open them up. I'm gonna show you what I have. And then all this week, we're gonna be working on installing different things. And as far as, old battle axe right here she's going up for sale i've had some inquiries about it. i haven't listed it yet but uh i will definitely be selling this one and it's going to come with the fish finder and a battery and uh i'll get to this one later on in another video but let's get back to this so let's do it okay let's start with the i'm going to call this one my Gigi. This is Gigi. This is, I think it's going to be Obatu. Just because I'm so used to the term old battle axe from this one, we're going to call this one old battle axe too. Oh, look at all the bugs. That was a heck of a drive back. I had to get out of there. Again, thanks to Native for giving me a factory tour and also for scrambling to get these kayaks ready early. There was a hurricane coming and I did not want to have to drive in it. So they made it happen. They made it happen. Ooh, look at that, look at that, bright green. I should have some accessories in here too. It's 
got some accessories here. Wow, that is bright green, folks. Bright green. Oh yeah, look at that. There she is. That's called the Falcon 11. 11 feet, about 65, 70 pounds, somewhere in there. Let's see what they do here. Like this along there. Oh yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. That's really the only setup we have to do on that one is mount the wheel and the keel. You know, it may sound cheesy, you guys, but that wheel and the keel is a cool benefit on a lightweight kayak. It certainly is. Okay, now for the granddaddy. Here's my makeshift flag I had to tie on for the ride home. Feels really light without the propel drive. Take a cut. It's nice that they pack them in this t shirt before it hits the road. Oh, here we go, guys. Slayer 10 Max. I swear it looks huge compared to my Slayer 10 over there. Compared to old Battle Axe 1, number 2 looks just gigantic. It's not any wider either. It's about the same width. I'm going to leave that on. Just want to flip it over. Yeah, that's beautiful. Oof. I'm speechless. Let's, let's see here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Wow, this is so cool, guys. So cool. Oh, yes.